you know that I really like the cell spy alarm. Uh, I just ordered another one from Common Sense RC. And uh, I like it so much, I don't know if you've seen them in the magazines here or not. But they have a nice catalog, and when I was looking through this catalog, I saw a couple things that I wanted to try. One is this pop wing airplane. Can't wait to open it up and see what's inside. And second of all, they're now making a compatible DSM-2 receiver, which I can't wait to try also. And uh, it will work with my Spectrum radio. So let's open up the box and see what's in here. Also, I bought a set of lights. Uh, you know, I'm the night flyer. And uh, many people are now making different kinds of lights, so I'm going to give this set of lights a shot and see how they look on the pop wing. Let's open up the box and see what we got here. Okay. Set of instructions with prop. These look like wing tips, wing flip, winglets. There is the wing and a bag of hardware. Let's open all this. Oh, and loaded. Okay, I'm loaded. Okay, I also ordered a couple of 55 servos, in common sense, so that should work on the wing. There's the receiver, the lights, let's see what's in this bag of hardware here. We have uh, push rods, oh, strapping tape, motor mount, and another bag of stuff. This looks like a battery plate, and servo mounts, with screws. And a piece of foam. That's everything there is. This is a 7.5 prop. I'm going to use a 11.1 volt 1300 milliamp battery. And I've got a 35 amp speed controller here. So this isn't going to be a, a five minute job. But let's see what, let's put it all together. There you go. Okay, folks, I've got everything out of the box. It's a pretty sharp looking unit. The first thing I want to do before we start building it is make sure all the electronics work. So I'm going to right now try to bind the receiver. Look okay, at Blake and now I'm going to hold this. Bind plug. Turn on the transmitter. Well, here's what we've got. We've got two blinking red lights for uh, simulated beacons. We've got a uh, left and right, red and green, uh, two white lights that are on steady all the time, and then two that fade in and out. Uh, it's nice they're all plugged in to one board so I don't have to do any soldering. Well, the directions say to use CA glue, and I have zap here uh, thin, and I have zap here uh, thick. And uh, I've got some zip kicker. I used a thick CA first, but found the thin to be better. It penetrated and dried faster, especially with the accelerator. Next, glue on the motor mount and make sure it's on straight. Well, here I painted the bare wood after gluing it with a paint pen. The next thing it says to do is to glue in your battery of Velcro tray. Make sure you put these straps on the outside or they won't hook up and you'll be bummed after you glue it all in. It says thread the plastic band through the pre-cut hole of the wing. Uh, that was kind of confusing to me until I figured out the plastic bands were these and you can barely see them in the picture here. And uh, they go in the slots in the wing here. I'm not having too good a luck with the servo mount. Since I stuck the servo in there, it's split. It's a little bit small of a hole for the fit. I'm going to try to drill this hole out and this broke too. So you know what? I'm just going to hot melt glue these babies. So I'm going to have to make a servo extension because the uh, wires will not reach. And it doesn't say anything on the box about needing servo extensions. 
120 miles round trip to buy the servo extensions and it would cost me about 50 bucks just in gas. So I made my own in about 10 minutes. Good, got those servos hot and melt glued in there. Now I'm just going to put the push rod in and glue that in with the CA back here on the L. Okay, next mount the motor. Okay, let's test these Elevons. Get it all set up for Elevons. Okay. Okay, working fine. Okay, that's not going to work. That's got to be loose. Okay, I've totally eliminated these little screws. I can't get them to run loose. They should be on kind of a bearing, and I've just elected to go with this great. I have left enough room in here that I can bend it if I have to. They're all working just fine like that. And of course, it's infinitely adjustable on the transmitter. Next, you just want to glue on your wingtip air dams with CA. Here you can see I mounted the tiny receiver with Velcro. Now to figure out where to put all the lights so I can see them from any flight angle at night and how to deal with all those wires. So instead of taping, even the tape they give me won't stick, I cut slots in the foam and pushed in the wires. I'm trying every kind of tape. I've cleaned this thing with everything. I am not kidding you. You could put this down and it all looks good and it might stay on when it's flying. But it just comes right off. Oh, anything. Look at that. 100 mile an hour tape won't even stick. See, my plan was to use the white 100 mile an hour tape, which is duct tape, and to cover the electronics bay. Instead, I found the lid, minus the label, from the box that the lights came in, a perfect hood. I also used electric glue to attach it because it really sticks. It sticks like glue to this special foam. Really good. I also hot melt glued the white nose battery protector foam on. Don't forget that. Well, it's imperative to balance the prop. I use plastic tape overlapped on the leading edge and that works really well. And from my past experience, I don't like to launch my planes like boomerangs as this always makes for sloppy takeoffs. So I put some noodles on the top and bottom and that besides the skids also gives me a place to grab the plane so I can launch it properly and not get my arm caught in the prop again. I did that 22 years ago and as you can see the scar shows how many times the prop blade struck me before I could react. You really have to be careful when you're launching this plane. And that noodle also has a perfect spot to push in my cell spy alarm. Okay, let's take it out for a maiden flight. You know, you can catch it easily by hand if the wind isn't blowing too badly, or you can even land conventionally. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> oh, I can't wait to get this baby out in the dark now. Well, here's a preview of some of the exciting night flying on the next show. Please stay tuned and thanks for watching and subscribing. <laughs> I love it. This baby flies good. Very, very good. <laughs>